In the last video, we looked at adding objects from the library. In this video, we're going to look at creating our own objects. So we're going to do that by using these shapes at the side here. What I want to do is I want to make a guitar animation in this one. So I'm going to grab in first by clicking on it. And then we click to set it and then we draw out the segment. So there you go, roughly there. And then click on the segment and draw it out. So it's more like a banjo, but I can live with that. And now we should be able to simply lift and move this over. Now you'll notice that the problem we have is the centre of the guitar is white and therefore not transparent as you might think it is and therefore you can see the object behind it so we need to change that. So how do we change that? Well we simply go up here to colour and guitars have to be red. It's written down somewhere I'm sure. So let's pick some red. That'll do it. It then says you want to fill in the segments or the segments in the circles. Now that basically asks if you want to fill in this bit, and I do want to fill it in. So there we go. We now have our red guitar, which you can simply drop in. The problem we now have is, ah, when I look at it, the arm isn't in front of the guitar. How am I going to change that? Well, the way we change that is to simply I'm going to take this arm here. We could edit and remove the the segment, but I don't need to. All I'm going to do is I'm going to simply make that arm disappear by dragging it into the body like that okay so the arm's effectively disappeared i'm then going to draw a new arm and when i draw the new arm i don't want to join it onto the body something like that i know it's all kind of visual and i'm just going to drop it so it would normally be joined onto the body see there Okay, so what we've got is an arm, and some of you are thinking, well, what's the point of that? Well, let's show you. If I drag the guitar down, we now have the body, which is in the layer behind the guitar. The guitar can be thought of to be the middle layer, and this new arm is in the front layer. And we can then simply bend into the right position. And if we wanted, we could be all sorts of clever, and we could add another circle in here. And then just animate that going up and down for the, the hand as it animates. Uh, but to be honest, I don't have enough time for that. So let's show you a very simple guitar animation. So we're going to go new frame. And we're simply going to move the hand up and down. And up and down. So it looks like this, and if we just loop it, again set for 10 frames per second. So it might look a little bit, bit, bit funky when we do it, um, because I'm recording at 2 frames per second, but I'll turn it down in a wee minute, so let's see how it looks. So there we go, you can see the sort of, the strum action where it's gone up slow, but gone down fast. Okay, and if I turn that back down at 2 frames per second for you, so you can hopefully see it. We've got that motion going in. And remember, there's nothing to stop you from now going back and editing the existing frames. So if we're going to play that note and say we're going to get to frame 4 and we're going to select a different note, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the position of the hand on the guitar at that point. And again, we can do exactly the same thing. We'll just change the position of the hand on the guitar. Change the position of the hand on the guitar. And if I play that now, you'll see it plays and then change the position. Okay, now obviously musicians out there will be going, no, you can't change it at that position, but that's what I've taken from it. Okay, so there we go, very simple guitar animation, but what it actually introduces to is layers and new objects.